Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's great, great to, to be, be a bulldog. bulldog. <laughs> Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Cameron Hernandez. And I'm Nicole Antuni. And welcome to VHS TV. Here are your morning announcements for today, Friday, April 21st, 2017. On Wednesday, the juniors and seniors experienced an assembly where inspirational speaker Kara Filler spoke about the possible dangers one faces when making a choice. Here's Nicole Antunian, who got the chance to interview Kara in our VHS TV studio after the assemblies. What is your takeaway from being here and meeting our students at BHS? Burbank High School is the only California school I'll visit this year. Been, I'll, by the time prom season is over, I'll have visited 125 schools. Wow. Um, and I really enjoyed your junior and senior class. The juniors were very um, enthusiastic, uh, clapped multiple times for my really bad dancing ability, <laughs> and also that I used to cheat on tests in high school with my twin sister. Um, and I just found them endearing. Everyone really, I hope, got something out of the message. There were lots of hugs, there were lots of comments, um, and really just I hope the students will take the message to heart. Can you explain a little about what you do and what your story is? So it's been a long time in the making, um, but the day after my 18th birthday, I have a twin sister, and unfortunately she passed away in a car wreck um, the, day we the day after we celebrated our 18th birthday. Um, as a high school senior, we thought we were invincible. We thought bad things only ever happened to other people. And by that summer, my sister had died in a car wreck and I was on scene. And I decided months later that I was gonna share her story in hopes that other people didn't have a story like mine. I'm not here for people to know my sister. I'm here to hopefully offer choices that could have saved my sister's life to students that maybe make the same kind of choices she did. Now, the reason I'm still alive and my sister isn't is because I was luckier than she was. I made bad choices in high school and beyond, and I'm just hoping with all of my heart that the students here at Burbank High School make choices that keep each other safe. What is your message for our student body? So it's a really simple message. Life without risk would be really boring. I'm not here to hopefully inspire you all to hide in your house because life has become very risky. I was here to offer four choices to keep you and your friends safe. And ultimately, if one person gets the message, that means my sister didn't die for nothing. Yeah. It's not about taking the risk out of the equation. It's about all of us, juniors and seniors, freshmen and sophomore, even as adults, having a good time safely. And what that means is we have to stick our neck out when we know it's the right thing to do. And every school I have ever been at, in all the years that I've been doing this, I just had a big birthday, I turned the big 4-0, <laughs> and I've been speaking for 22 years, and I think back to the risks I took in high school, but ultimately, I've never found a school that hasn't lost students. And Burbank has been hit multiple times in the last few years by tragedy. We call it an accident to hopefully take the sting out of it and like, it's an accident, it just happens. It doesn't. When it comes to car crashes and safety, it's always a choice that leads them there. So we can take the risk out of the equation. We can be the designated texter. We can ask our mom and dad to slow down. We can remind our friends to wear their seatbelt. We can be a safe driver. We can call Uber. Um, then they will never be a number on a piece of paper. Do you think your sister is proud of you? I love that question. Um, I, I think that there is a place where people that we have lost go. And I think they watch over us. And I am incredibly grateful. Would I want her to be here and experience life with me? Yes, but I wouldn't have married the hottest husband ever. I wouldn't have the world's tallest fifth grader had this not been my path. So I hope that she's proud. I see signs from her. I don't know if all people believe that, but I do think that people will let you know that they are around. And my sister leaves dimes. It's 10 cents. I wish it was $20 bills. It's not. Um, but she leaves me dimes. And I hope that some of the students at your school who shared with me their personal stories, because I'm not the only one that has a story, um, I hope they see those signs too. And I hope maybe Marin leaves somebody a dime today at school. Thank you so much for sharing in your story. I know we were all touched by your experiences. Any final thoughts for our Burbank High students? So I think that 
the best thing you can do as a junior and senior in high school is to really show this world how much you care. Um, I think and I hope that my son will have friends like the students I met at Burbank High School today. Um, I hope that he'll have friends like that when he's a high school senior. Um, 27 days for the senior class at your school. I hope they make the most of those days and go on and live amazing lives and one day take their teeth out and put it in a cup just like this when they're 95 years old and tell their great grandkids how hard life was at Burbank High School because it's not really that hard. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Burbank High School received a very special honor this past week. The Gold Ribbon Awards recognizes California schools that have made gains in implementing academic context and performance standards adopted by the State Board of Education. Our model program and practice here at BHS was selected based on our animation work based learning program. We were visited by a team from the Gold Ribbon Committee and had a presentation, interviews with staff and students, and classroom visits where the committee observed our programs and practices in place. And finally, Burbank High School was awarded to be a Gold Ribbon School by the State of California. Congratulations to our entire staff, especially Ms. Pickett, Ms. Day, and Dr. Bertram for their hard work in getting this honor for our school. Today in the Quad at Lunch, the Social Justice Club and Club Marine have joined together and want you to help them celebrate Earth Day. Here's Ms. Fahad and Ms. Jacob to tell us more. I'm Ms. Jacob, advisor of Club Marine. I am Ms. Fahad, the advisor for Social Justice Club. We would like to welcome you all out to the quad today at lunch for a celebration of Earth Day, which is tomorrow. We will have games and prizes to test your knowledge and bring attention to the Earth, climate change, and of course the continual need for action. Do you know how much garbage the state of California recycles, or what the most sustainable country in the world? Uh, I think the garbage question is about 28%. I'm not sure about the country. That's correct! Ms. Fahad, did you know about the country? I think a lot of Scandinavian countries. I think it's Finland. Wow, what do I win? You win one of many prizes. For example, this amazing shower timer. Or a coloring book. Or a reusable bag. Please come out to the quad today and see your, what your knowledge is and win a prize. Attention all students who are taking AP Psychology next year with Mr. Koyasos. Beginning next Wednesday, April 26th, please come by room 1315 to pick up a contract for next year. They must be returned to Mr. Kuyasos in room 1315 by Friday, May 19th at the very latest. Attention all students. The deadline to sign up for summer school is April 28th. Please see your counselor for more details regarding the registration process. Congratulations to all of our students who received top dog luncheons invites. All students who are invited must RSVP by next Friday, April 28th to Ms. Burkhart in room 106. We are so proud of your academic excellence. Attention Burbank High School, it's time for the spring play. Take a trip with the drama department to summer camp at Camp Athens, where it is always a midsummer night's dream. There you enjoy original music, singing, dancing, young love, and a little bit of fairy magic. Get discounted general admission tickets for $10 online at burbankdrama.com or student tickets on campus this week at lunch for $5. Tickets at the door will be $15 for general admission, $10 for students, and $5 for ASB. Start summer break early next Friday, April 28th, and Saturday, April 29th at 7 p.m. in the Wolfson Auditorium and learn why people are exclaiming, Lord, what fools these mortals be. Seniors who will be attending a community college, technical school, four-year college or university, or are joining the armed services in the fall are all invited to come and put their paw print up on the map in the student center. We want to see where our Bulldogs will be, so please share the good news with all of us. Now here's Fox Bravo with your ASB Minute. Hi, I'm Fox Bravo and this is your ASB Minute. Attention all seniors, today is the last day to purchase grad night tickets. Make sure to bring your signed permission slips and don't forget, prom sales start on Monday. Monday also starts Spirit Week. On Monday we're traveling to Hawaii and wearing Hawaiian shirts and lays. On Tuesday we're flying to Alaska and we're wearing our beanies and snow gear. On Wednesday we're moseying on down to Texas and dressing like cowboys. Then on Thursday we're hopping on over to Louisiana and dressing colorfully for Mardi Gras. And on Friday it's rally day and we're going to wear college gear and take a road trip across America. And that's it for today's AC Minute. Thanks, boss! Attention all students! If you have been confirmed to judge this year's John Muir speech competition, it is important to pick up the requisite forms from the BHS office or Mr. Lujan. Unless these forms are completed, you cannot judge. Please pick up and complete these forms ASAP. If you have been confirmed to judge but have yet to receive a judging date, please contact any 8th grade English teacher at John Muir Middle School. The sooner the better. 
Once dates are set, they are final. They look forward to seeing you for this year's tournament. In Career Center news, attention seniors. There are 15 plus senior scholarships available to apply for right now. Information is posted on the Bulldog Career Center website. Visit www.burbankusd.org slash BHS for more information. All information requirements for each of the scholarships and the applications are all available in the Student Center and at the front desk in the main office. Please see Mrs. Perot's doggy in the Career Center if you have any questions about any of these scholarships. Seniors, don't miss out on this opportunity for free money for college. In sports news, the BHS track team had a meet at the Burroughs track on Wednesday where boys varsity won 73-63 and girls varsity won 71-60. Girls softball also played against Burroughs on Wednesday where they won 5-2. Good job to all of our athletes and congratulations to our amazing sports teams. Okay, Bulldogs, that's it for today's VHS TV video announcements. On behalf of the cast and crew of VHS TV, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend, and don't forget, Monday is an early release. And always remember, it's great to be a Bulldog.